How we doing guys? Back with another beer review. Checking out some more Dissolver. Very excited about this one. This one is called The Hustle is Broken. Love the name, love the label art. I mean, look at that, just killer. Really cool. Really cool stuff. So this is, per the label, a West Coast style India Pale Ale. Clocking in at 6.2%. Hops included are Columbus, Cascade, Mosaic, Michigan, Centennial, Centennial Cryo. Killer. Old school hops mixed with a little kind of new school Mosaic. Well, is Mosaic a... Can we consider Mosaic a classic hop now? Been around for a little while. Um... I think so. I think so. That's just me. But yeah, I mean, absolutely love this label art. And uh, yeah, canned on August 8th. So we are currently like right at three weeks old. Sweet. Um, West Coast IPA, one of my favorite styles. Honestly, probably is my favorite style. Um, and yeah, I, I saw this. I was like, I have to see how Dissolver does a West Coast IPA. So super stoked to check this one out. That looks like West Coast beer. Good finger and a half of fluffy, kind of off-white head. Um, kind of got a little darker lighting in here. Might be a little hard to really see, but um, yeah, kind of a off-white head, nice head retention, beautiful carbonation in the glass. Um, yeah, pretty clear for the most part. I've seen, I mean, I don't know, I think it's pretty clear. I think there's just a little bit of a chill haze to it. So yeah, it looks really, really nice. Trevor knows in it. Smells so good, dude. Mm. It is perfect mix of that old school piney citrus peel that you get with old school IPA. And then there's that mosaic, which I typically associate um, with dank blueberries. Sometimes I'll get orange. Um, Sometimes I'll even get, I'll get like a little bit of a, well, no, I don't, I, I think it's strictly like orange or blueberry, but that smells like dang blueberry. Yeah, a little bit of a candy thing, but not, like not too much. Um, I think that if, if this was like double IPA, it'd be a little sweeter, get a little more of that candy blueberry thing. For the most part though, this is just super like crisp. Um, just fruity, fruit salad in glass, mixed with a little bit of dank stuff and pine. A little, like really nice floral notes too. Yeah, it smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers. Still a little cold, probably could let it sit out like another five minutes or so. Um, but I mean, it's still just killer. It's a crusher. 6.2%, this is right in my wheelhouse. I mean, literally everything about this beer. Some of my favorite hops, Columbus, Cascade, Centennial. I used to not be a big um, mosaic fan. But it has really grown on me recently, and I have been really digging Mosaic. Um, yeah, this is just super crisp. Really nice carbonation to it. But it's still, it, it's got like just a little heftiness just to let you know it's an ale. It's a little bit heavier, you know, than stuff I've been drinking recently, like 
um, lagers, Oktoberfest, Pilsners. I think I could have lived this it out for sure a little bit longer um, but I mean it, everything comes through that tank blueberry a little bit of bitterness I think a little, the bitterness will pick up a little bit um, you know as it sits out a little bit I will say I had this beer because I picked up a four pack I had it what three four days ago I think it was a little more had a little more bitterness to it um, but overall the taste is you know almost identical um, hasn't changed much over the past week so I mean it it's, it's killer like I said um, in our previous dissolver review which I have not posted as of right now but we'll see when I get to it dissolver makes killer beer one of my favorite Asheville breweries, one of my favorite breweries in general. Um, I have not had a bad beer from these guys and um, everything about them. Tap room's awesome. Uh, just overall great vibe from them. Uh, they do all kinds of styles. And this, I mean, first West Coast IPA I've had from them. It's just a stunner. It is great introduction to West Coast IPA uh, from Dissolver. Super dry. Uh, I mean, it is just. I mean, I don't even know. A little bit of that piney note, grapefruit, like strong grapefruit, and then dank blueberry. That's what this is, which I really think is cool. It's not like too much. It's not like a generalized. Um, you know, I feel like you can that can happen sometimes with. IPAs it, where you just get this generic fruit character. This specifically to me is grapefruit, pine, dank blueberry, um, and not just an amalgamation of fruits. I mean, it smells like fruit salad, but in the taste, it re like you really get a good amount of that grapefruit. This is a crusher. 6.2%. I have nothing bad to say about this beer. I think it is worth to seek out. I mean, yeah, this label art. I will be holding on to this label for sure. 100%. I think this is like a series they do. A bunch of the Hustled series. Um, and I hope that they brew this one again. Because it is... Awesome. That's it. That's all I got, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Let me know what you're drinking. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.